Hey and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, guess it right, we do have the XRH New Energy Lithium Ion Phosphate 100 amp hour 51.2 volts. This is a ripping 5120 watt hour. And this battery is, yep, you are right, it is pretty big, but to be honest, it is smaller than the 200 amp hour battery I had um, whoop, up there somewhere. So, similar size, I feel like. <laughs> But this one is double the power and it is in a 51.2 volts configuration. So this video is purely about this battery and I have to cut it shorter than usually because it is meant to be for, yep, for golf courts. Um, so this battery really has a max discharge of 200 amp, which will help a golf court to accelerate and to drive fast and maintain speed. Definitely better um, than you would think or get with other batteries for sure. But um, unfortunately, I'm yeah, the, the golf cart I was aiming for doesn't work for me. So here we are. So um, I didn't want to let you wait too long and think about um, if you want to buy a battery, a powerful battery, maybe for a golf cart, maybe a different purpose. Um, this video is purely looking at this battery. Um, we'll check it out the specification. We'll check out the capacity test and we will also check out um, if it does. Well, we'll see if we, I can get to 200 amp hours uh, maximum discharge. Uh, we'll see if that will work because that's basically what the golf course will do. It will really um, aim for a lot of power and draw at once. So we'll try to cover that in this video. But um, the actual teardown I want to postpone because I don't want to take this apart and then afterwards put in a golf court. I want to do it the other way around rather and especially want to test it with a golf court. So I don't want to bore you too much with that. But um, the disassemble is not part of this video. But um, I was in contact with the manufacturer, so pretty cool. Let's start with the specification. So that means, first thing first, um, you see it's already connected, but the battery comes with this little pouch. It does come with those little caps here on top. It does come with the M8 bolts. I believe it's M8 here as well. They work well. It does come with the display. It does come with those nylon strap handles um, because it does have some weight to it. And yeah, it's that's all it comes with, but of course, don't forget, it does come with a sticker as well. This ripping cool sticker here. So the sticker, but also it does come with a manual and user manual. And this has a nice size to it, I would say, as always. Uh, it does look familiar to a couple other uh, manuals as well, but um, it feels good. It looks like there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of information in here, which is, which is really useful, like the dimensions over here, like the weight as well over here. And of course, it tells the general information, product parameters as well. That's very important, uh, especially when we look at this part over here, which is actually the product parameters. And that means battery management system BMS board 200 amps, max continuous charge is 60 amps, and max continuous discharge current is 100 amp. But it does have a max discharge current of 200 amps for five seconds, which might be for accelerating pretty well. The discharge rate is maximum continuously, I would say, 100 amp hours. Yeah, what we see here on the, this, uh, on the side, it's saying the discharge max discharge is 200 amp, but it doesn't say, unfortunately, the three seconds. Anyway, on page 11 of this menu, we can see the charging and the discharging voltages, which is quite important, especially when you have a lithium ion phosphate battery, so keep that in mind. We do see a recommended charging current over here. Anyway, uh, and then we also have, and that's something which I was debating with the manufacturer, going back and forth a little bit, and I'll give you more insight into this in a second. You can see this table, and this table states 1% at 43 volts, recommended low voltage disconnect voltage. So we'll get there um, with the capacity test in a second, because that's something which I will highlight. But before we do that, this battery, you can see well, up here, it does have a display, which is quite nice. It does have an app. So here's the display, and you might know this display already from other batteries, like the Go Kilowatt up there. It is nice because it gives you quite a lot of information. It's connected to the BMS. Now you see standby, no current is drawn in or out, and there we have the protections over here, and then you have a state of charge and a percentage. And it goes in standby when needed or when it's charged or discharged, I think, I believe it goes on. Pretty nice. It would be boring if it would not have the app. And we could use the Shaosheng Electric app, as you might know already. And on the side of the housing over here, there's a QR code so you can scan it pretty easy. And what do we want to do? Yes, we do want to connect to the, this one. I renamed it already, so <laughs> I know what's going on here. 
XRH48 volt, that's the one I want to see, and that's, here it is. And you saw already on the display, up there it was saying 37%, and here in the app it also says 37%, so that's really, really cool. So, two things. Um, usually, when I go to parameters, you don't have this information here. Everything below basic information is not part of a normal user appearance. So we'll go, go to the capacity test and then I'll show you afterwards more about um, the parameters here. But um, here you can see just everything else about this battery, which is quite nice. All the cells, it has six, 16 cells. We can see the voltage, the current draw, etc. So that's pretty cool. You have the control, you can charge and discharge. I believe you can turn off as well. You should have the auto balance and clear warning and reset. Yeah, I think that's it. You see more than uh, you should see. Well, actually, let's do capacity test first. Okay, it looks like we'll continue capacity test. So, back there you can see the XRH, new energy lithium ion phosphate battery, 51.2 volts. And here you can see our capacity meter, let me call it that, even though it's not. Let me reset everything. Everything is reset. Let me turn on everything we need. And then we'll just start with the capacity test. So, let's get it started. And there it is ramping up. So let's see, we are a little bit above the 22 or the 20 amps, which is a little bit more than 0.2C, which is fine here in my opinion. So I'll just let it go and we'll be back between four to five hours with the final results. And we'll see how this battery actually does perform. And again, we have 22.7 here. And here it shows also 22.6, 22.7 on the display itself. So that's great to see that, right? So we are pretty close, in my opinion. I'll get back with the final results. So we are at 0% regarding or according to the battery, but the inverter did shut off, not a battery. Okay, so we are a little bit short of 100 mO, if you've seen. I just double checked multiple times if my inverter does have wrong settings, but it does not. It's cutting off at 43, I believe, according to the manual, which I have here. We are far above, 47, and it still does cut off. So, all right, so you saw the capacity test. The capacity test did, in quotes, fail, but uh, we had a cutoff at 47.5 volts-ish, I would say. And as you remember in the manual, it did say um, it does recommend to cut off at 40, uh, 43, which is 1%, um, which is pretty, pretty low still. Um, I think we would have pushed over the 100 amp hours, no problem. Um, but now I want to highlight, there is actually in the app also one little tiny bit, which I figured out, um, it does boil down to one little cell which just runs lower than the other ones. Um, it might just be enough to do a top balancing and then everything is resolved. Maybe, maybe not. You can see on this picture that we do have the 47.75 and it has a cell under voltage protection. And the cell one is at 2.5 and it was at 2.4 something. I try to get a screenshot of it, it looks like I didn't save that one. Regardless, you can see that's what's happening. So one cell is a lot lower than the other ones, which is not good. So we need I need to top balance it, and I hope I can get this battery to top balance, and then we'll definitely reach the 100 mR. So take this capacity test with a grain of salt, because I think it might be just my one cell I have here. It might be after completely charging it again. It will be top balance everything, no problem, no issues. And um, your cells can be totally fine. It's definitely, it gets very close. I believe it is over uh, 100 amp hours um, easy because I see the other cells are pretty high at uh, 3.29, etc. So that's pretty good. So, okay, what I want to talk about is here in the app as well, so you still see it. Um, I was talking to the manufacturer and asking, hey, this is brand new. This is brand new. Um, I'm surprised that I wasn't able to reach the entire capacity. So we were going back and forth. And I thought, okay, let me just lower the disconnect 
the low voltage protection disconnect. And it's possible. So they gave me a user account. Right now I'm not logged in with my user account. I'm logged in with a administrative user account for this, specifically for this battery. I'm not sharing this here, but I want to show you, which is pretty cool. And I saw that in a couple other batteries, you are able to manipulate the parameters. When you go to uh, protection parameters here, and you go to, what is it here? This one, cell low volt protect 2,500 millivolts, 2.5 volts. That's where it disconnects and that's exactly where it disconnects because the one cell was below that to protect it um, to damaging the cell, which is fine. I don't want to damage the cell, right? Um, but I could adjust it here if I want to, but it doesn't make sense. There's a 0.4 volt difference almost from this one cell to the other one, which is way too much. So my recipe to resolve this, hopefully that I charge it all the way up and um, can top balance it. Um, but what we can also see here, and that's something I was asking the manufacturer, hey, what's the low temp cutoff? Do you have it? And yes, they do have it. And you can see it here, charging low temperature protection. It's set at minus 10 Celsius. So again, um, it's like um, a pattern we have throughout uh, pretty much, I would say, um, other manufacturers as well. Um, our, uh, as an answer, I got our battery has a low temperature charge protection of minus 10 Celsius in factory setting. Because the cells can still charge 60% at this temperature, also the low temperature protection temperature of the battery can be adjusted to my needs if needed. But um, according to them, uh, because the cells can still be charged to 60% at this temperature at minus 10 without any issues, without it damaging. Um, I do not know enough about this chemistry. Maybe you can share more if you know more about it and you um, have good resources to share with us. Please feel free to put it in the comments. Regardless, um, we could adjust it as well. Well, I could adjust it, but I don't want to. I want to keep it as the manufacturer had it because uh, when we get to the low temp cutoff tests, we will look at that. So those are my um, long, long sentences about this battery. But as of now, I'm pretty um, happy with uh, what I've seen, even though it didn't pass the capacity test, but I know why. So let's try to uh, do a discharge test and see how far we can get. Of course, 200 amp hours <laughs> um, in a 48 volt system would be 9,600 watt, if I made the math correct. So it is definitely the question if I can achieve this. So I only have a MultiPlus, in quotes only, which is capable of, uh, it's a 48 volt, it's a 3000 volt amperage. And it has a peak of five or 6,000, I believe. So we'll see how far we can get with that. But it gives you kind of an indication at least, that's very, very important to understand, just an indication on how much we can draw. So that means I will turn on the inverter and we'll see how far we can get. I did charges to 50% as you, as you have seen here. Also here in the display, it does show 50%, just to double check. And let me just start a couple of things here. So to get some load going. It's funny because uh, it does, everything works out, but it's my extension cord, which is not able to handle that much. All right. Okay, um, I'll stop here, but um, you've seen 85 is kind of the maximum I can get. Uh, with my extension cord, I've connected to uh, the MultiPlus. I would need a better connection over there, a thicker gauge, so that I could draw more than 85. But I want to highlight one other thing um, with this. And there's a video, I'll link it up there as well, give you a reference. Um, they made a pretty good video about this battery, especially with a golf cord. And I think they really highlight this battery. It, just putting it into uh, the golf cart and using it pretty well. Um, I like it, so um, you can scroll through a little bit as well. So that's what I did. I did enjoy the video as well to see uh, what or how powerful it feels like. At least that's what it felt like. And yeah, that's kind of uh, what I would like to test as well. But um, yeah, as of now, I'm not having that golf cart here. So we'll have to wait for that. So that means for this video, that should be all. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'll link in the description below as well to this battery, which so far seems to be a solid battery. And uh, I liked that I saw uh, behind the scenes in the app, in the configuration. There's way more to look at, to be honest. 
And uh, it's pretty cool to see that you can configure those things as well in case you have the right access, obviously. So this is not for uh, users, um, like when you buy it, you will not have access. Usually, um, unless there's something specific, maybe you can talk to the manufacturer and they give it to you. I don't know. Um, in my case, I asked for that uh, because I was surprised what's happening. So I figured it out with the one cell. I would assume this is not the case for all units or with the top Allison, we just can eliminate this issue. So I'll charge it up um, for the next video. I hope I can get this started pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers!